Thank you for staying with us here from Pilsen 2023 World Archery Para Championships. As we come into the last two matches of the day, and uh, we have the bronze medal match first. Jonathan Milne of Australia up against Jota von Montago of Belgium. A delightful scene here in Pilsen 2023. Both are just doing a great job in the ranking round. Montago getting second. Milne fifth. Jonathan Milne, the Sydney-born archer. 37 years of age. There is Piotr and Montagu. He is. He's been as high as three in the world. Currently fifth in the world. Fantastic archer he is. Capped at the Paralympic Games. Also appeared at one World Archery Para Championship. So he's had a second and he's going for his first medal. Yeah, today. Having lost to Matteo Bonacina of Italy, 140 to 138 in the semis. Jonathan Milne had three good wins before losing to Nathan McQueen of Great Britain in the semis, 144 to 139. So it's all set up for what should be a terrific contest. Well, the bronze medal. So here we go. It's going to be Milne to go first. Starts off in style. Does the Aussie. Tell you about the weather conditions too. Still very pleasant in the late afternoon here in Pilsen. Temperature of 24 degrees. Very little humidity. A wind of around 10 kilometres an hour. At about 2.7 metres per second. So here comes Milne with a fast start here. Going to uh, really make a statement early. Hasn't got a perfect end, but very close to it. Just dropping the one point so far. And Montagu, what can he do to finish? He gets his first 10. So it's going to be a two point game 29 to 27 in the first 10. has been an archer for 10 years. Malgoa in Australia. In Sydney, as I mentioned. Malgoa is uh, far from Penrith in Western Sydney. A little village. 65, 66 kilometres west of Sydney. As I said, not too far away from Penrith, major settlement area in the west of the city. We'll see how he can carry on here. Can 
Jonathan Milne after a very good start. Meet the fourth seed, Rakesh Kumar, in the quarterfinals. His biggest scalp and uh, Van Montagu, well, arguably his biggest scalp was Matt Stutzman. Of course, the defending champion knocked him out in the 1-8 qualifications, 146 to 143. Second end underway now. Good start here for the Belgians so far. The 10 and two nines. Not quite at the standard of Milne just yet. Well, Milne has really made a good start. Terrific effort. That's uh, three tenths from his first four arrows. Really started strongly. And that's a beauty. There you go. Well, Milne has been brilliant so far. Really off the charts. Much better there from the Belgian. Locking in 29 out of 30. No one can go 30 from 30 here. Nine. Oh, barely a millimeter away. High quality of archery coming off the bow from Milne at the moment. Fantastic stuff from him so far. There's a shared end there. Same score, 29 apiece. Yeah. Me too. Concerned about at the moment off Milne's bow. He's going great. Well, the Aussie camp look comfortable, don't they? and determination to get through to the other end. And we'll see if Van Montago can claw back this deficit. Two-point deficit. fans in the stands, hasn't he? Has uh, Van Montagu perfect start for him in this set. Last one, oh, Milne is a machine right now. He is just nailing it. away by how good Milton's been so far in this match. Going back through his scorecards here. 141, 145, 141, 139. Oh, Van Montagu's got a perfect end, the first of the match. 
to stay right on the heels of Jonathan Milne. And, it's a nine and nine. he's done the same thing again. Three ends in a row, two tens to start and nine to yeah. end with. He's got three points nine now, but he's still going very good. A high standard of archery coming here. Just three points dropped by Milne, as I mentioned, and just two so far, or just four rather, from the Belgian. So it is going to be a battle to the end, it feels, doesn't it? Six tens from his nine arrows so far for Jonathan Milne. And Von Mantagu also has six tens. Just that eight in that first end was the, the difference between the two archers so far. Jonathan Milne going at a much higher standard scoring rate than he has in his previous matches. And actually, same for Van Montagu. He's gone 147, 146, 141, 138. So some pretty decent scoring there. He got uh, very close to the perfect 150 in his first round match, but and the second against Stutzman. But the last two matches, he's been down a bit. Good to see these two bringing their, their top form to what is the bronze medal match. Yeah. Now, that's his sixth 10 in a row. He's really got things humming now, has Van Montagu. It's got great mental strength. Most Aussies who reach the top of their sport generally just have that quality. Yeah. Well, that's all he can keep doing. Just keep banging in the tens. Well, the standard has been fantastic in this match. Brilliant in the final two, you'd think. Oh, an eight there. Van Montagu, be ratty with himself there. Now Milne can re-establish a solid lead again. Nine. We can't, but it's a nine. It is a, a, I was going to say his worst arrow, but it's still a nine. Close to the eight. But anyway, it's going to be a lead for Milne still. It's back to a two-point game, as it was after the first end. So, can he keep it up, the Australian? Did win a bronze medal at the 2016 Paralympic Games in Rio in the individual competition. And he has won silver in the teams event last year. This is his fifth World Archery Para Games, the Australian. So he is quite experienced. Flirted with medals. Got a two already at major competitions and he's looking good to win a third here. So it's a 1 1 6 1 1 4 game. Milne. Let's see what Van Montagu can do in this last set last end rather Get a great run there are six tens in a row seven tens in a row but he's still trailing by two points and he's back 
to what he does best. But Milne has that slight breathing space. And that is another gem off the bow of Jonathan Milne. Great arrow from Van Montagu, but all eyes on Mill now. Nine. Well, that looks like it's just missed the 10 zone. So still a slight chance here for the Belgian. He's going to need another 10 to have any chance of winning the bronze, and he's duly delivered. So a nine for Milne. Might need a 10 just to be absolutely certain. Yeah. He's got it. Brilliant performance right there from Jonathan Milne. Really good effort from him. He scored 29 in all five ends. So dropping five points, 145 to 143. Very good match from both of them. Could be 144 for Van Montagu. But unfortunately, regardless of what happens, he's going to come up short. So it's going to be Jonathan Milne of Australia who will win bronze. Here in Tilson. At the second medal at a World Archery Para Championships to go with the silver in the team's event he won in Dubai last year. Great day for Australian Harris Court. Coming to Bilton and winning bronze. Scores are in 145 to 143. He got it by two points. Great effort, too, from Piotr van Montagu.